Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you're having an awesome day. Mike here from virtualrealityoasis.com and today I'm going to be giving you a guided tour uh, around London in virtual reality. So the awesome thing about virtual reality is it's not just about gaming. Um, it's got thousands of different applications that could be used for. I've seen uh, people use it for practicing surgery. I've seen people use it for zooming around maps and things like that like in Google Earth VR like we're going to today. And the way I see it is this is going to be the future of the way teaching can be done in a classroom. You know, imagine taking a classroom of children on a virtual guided tour around a city or a museum uh, without ever leaving the classroom. Now, obviously I know that there's a lot of benefit for actually physically going to these places, but if you can't, like they're the other side of the world for example, then this would be the perfect way to experience it. And what way, uh, what better way to learn about a place if you've actually seen it for yourself and experienced it for yourself. So today I want to demonstrate the power of that uh, by giving you a guided tour of London using the Oculus Rift and touch controllers. So let's dive in. Okay guys, so here we are in the centre of London. Uh, we're using the Oculus Rift and the touch controller and this is Google Earth VR so we're right in the centre of London as you can see we're absolutely ginormous um, and essentially we can just look around and look at all the iconic buildings so the way I imagine this is um, you know in a classroom environment showing kids parts of cities, parts of the world maybe museums, culture, art concerts, whatever it may be, and you learning from also experiencing what you're seeing. Um, so I'm going to show you around London today, if you're not familiar with London. Uh, I'm not particularly great with London facts, but I've tried to uh, learn a few, so um, hopefully uh, this will be a little bit educational as well. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's jump in. So we're going to start off with uh, Big Ben obviously an iconic building uh, in the centre of London. Um, the official name actually for the tower, believe it or not, is the Elizabeth Tower. Uh, it's actually uh, called Big Ben uh, after the actual bell itself, uh, which chimes every 15 minutes and can be heard up to around 5 miles away. Um, it was completed in uh, 1859 and um, and yeah, is one of, uh, one of London's iconic buildings. It's a uh, part here of the Houses of Parliament, if we swing round, we can actually move round to uh, to look at those. Uh, the Houses of Parliament here, which is the home of British politics, and as you can see, overlooks the River Thames, right in the heart of the city. Um, if we go up a little bit, so we can actually move up in the sky a little bit, and we can move around here, just in the distance there is Buckingham Palace and uh, we'll go and have a look at that. So this is obviously where the royal family live, where the Queen lives uh, in Buckingham Palace and the iconic statue right in front here so if we go try and zoom in a little bit there we go, so we can actually see the statue itself it's not particularly great resolution as you can appreciate a lot of these images are obviously from the satellite, so uh, when you get a bit closer, they're a little bit rugged. But, you know, it's, it's the first ever time, uh, you know, that something like this has been done before, so it's only going to get better and better and better. So that's Buckingham Palace. If we swing back round towards the river, uh, back towards Big Ben and the House of Parliament, swing round. So this is uh, Westminster Abbey, as you can see there. It's an iconic building. It's got a real sort of gothic feel to it. Fantastic looking. And it's just amazing that you can look around this building uh, within virtual reality, get a real sense of what it's like actually being there. You know, um, I've got a trip planned uh, to Florida in February, and I think I'm going to have to... Uh, jump in this and, uh, and have a good look around to get my bearings for when we, we visit it. It's fantastic. The detail in the building is amazing. So obviously with Westminster Abbey, those that follow the royals, this is where Prince William and Kate Middleton got married. 
and that was in April 2011. So we'll move across a little bit further and we'll go towards the London Eye here, which is obviously based on the Thames. And as you can see, that's obviously where we've come from. So the London Eye has got 32 capsules. Each of these capsules carries uh, 25 people. And it takes around 30 minutes to do a whole rotation. And uh, having done it myself, I can, uh, I can say it's one of those things to do in London that I totally recommend. It's uh, really, really fantastic views from up there. Really get a sense of uh, the city. Also fantastic at night. One of the things I can do here is move it so we can see it at night. <laughs> so there we go, night time. Uh, it's a shame, you know, all the lights don't come on because that really would be uh, amazing. But I'll switch back to the daytime. You move the sun, and we'll have a look, have another bit of a look around. So we'll go a bit further up the river, up here. And there we can see the iconic Tower Bridge. The construction of the bridge started in uh, 1886. Actually, took uh, eight years to complete the bridge. In the centre here, these uh, roads actually lift up to allow boats to go through. Um, this happens about a thousand times a year, apparently, and uh, because it's obviously used. Uh, as a main uh, crossing uh, to cross the river by traffic and cars and pedal cyclists and everything else. Uh, they actually uh, give you 24 hours notice on their website to let you know that there's going to be a large boat crossing through and they're going to be raising up. So that's really, really cool. Again, another really, really iconic building uh, in London. You can have a look all the way around. Really, really cool. So now, um, as you can see in the distance here, you've got the Shard. If we go and take a closer look, and go up a bit higher, because it's a super, super tall building. So this is the uh, the Shard. Uh, it was, when it was built, or it still currently is actually, I think, I believe, the fourth uh, tallest building in Europe. Um, it is 1,016 feet tall. And uh, I haven't actually been up in the tower yet, but I've heard uh, the views up here on one of the observation decks is, uh, is, is breathtaking. I can imagine it is. You know, as you can see now, the view here is absolutely breathtaking. I don't have to physically be there. Um, you know, you can see the whole city laid out in front of you. It really is fantastic. Um, just down here on the Thames is the HMS Belfast. It was, uh, let's see if we can get a bit of a closer look at that actually. Uh, this was um, a Royal Navy ship, uh, served in World War II. It's now permanently docked uh, on the River Thames, um, and it's actually uh, managed by the Imperial War Museum. So it's actually a museum inside, so you can go inside and check out some facts and interesting bits and pieces uh, about World War II and the history of this, uh, this boat. Absolutely fantastic. A couple of other iconic buildings, a couple of my favourites are these two here. So you've got the Walkie Talkie Tower here and the Gherkin. Um, it's called the Walkie Talkie Tower, obviously it looks like a bit like a walkie talkie stroke mobile phone. Famous for uh, melting cars and all sorts of bits and pieces because when the sun reflects from it in the in the hot winter summer months which uh, we do get occasional hot days uh, the reflection from the sun actually bounces back and starts melting stuff and people get very upset about it. Uh, but it's a cool looking building nevertheless. And then uh, any of you uh, UK people that are fans of uh, The Apprentice will recognise this building here. It's called The Gherkin. Um, and it features at the beginning of The Apprentice, which is a show I absolutely love. So uh, that's really, really cool. 
so yeah, um, that's a very, very rough guide of London. Um, you can essentially go anywhere in the world with, uh, with this. Um, so if you watch now, I'll, uh, I'll take off and go straight into space, which is super, super cool. I totally feel like Superman. And now I'm in space, guys. And I can choose to go wherever I please. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching the video. Um, if you hit the like button, that would help me out loads. Uh, also, if you're interested in seeing more virtual reality content, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button here. And also, if you want to learn about how to enable um, your Oculus Rift to be used with uh, Google Earth VR, then please check out my how-to uh, video uh, just here. So thanks very much guys, uh, appreciate it, all the likes and everything else you've done for me so far and I've got an update for the channel coming very soon. So thanks again and see you on the next one.